Hello, my friends, and welcome to Lean and Clean with Fitness Chef Christine. Today, we are blessed to have we are blessed to have Coach Colleen all the way from Ireland. Yay! She is one of my uh, coach friends. She is absolutely fabulous. She was a nurse for twenty two years, and now she is an online coach who is just absolutely fabulous. She's another heart centered coach who I absolutely admire, and I'm going to let her tell you about her programs. Go what? at it, Colleen. Hi, how are you doing, Christine? It's so lovely to be on this. Thank you for asking me. Honest to God, it's so lovely. I love having you. Oh, and it's lovely to have built a relationship with you over the last year through boss coaches and to have that connection and to think this is why I love online because it connects with you with so many people. It's incredible. It's great. It's, um, it's worldwide. Yeah. It's just open to everybody. Yeah, it's just fabulous. Yeah, so I'm Colleen, and as Christine, thank you for that lovely introduction. I'm a nurse, 22 years. I specialize in type 2 diabetes and heart health, and also weight loss. So obviously the benefits of reducing your weight has huge positive strengths when it comes to diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and overall mental health as well. So um, I got into the coaching actually pre covid um, the nurse is always in me. I bring that speciality into my program. So my program is the Rise Strong um, Mind and Body Transformation Program. And in that we work with, I work with people who are type 2 diabetics, who are pre-diabetic, who maybe have some cardiac issues, who may be on the cusp of going on certain statins. Maybe you're visiting your GP your practice nurse and they've said look at you need to look at your weight you really need to triage your health here as I say it so when people come to speak to me I always like to meet them as in online in person would be amazing but online that's why I love it I can have so many people and basically just get a gist of where they are and I do like a triage assessment with them to how urgent is them working on their lifestyle, working on their physical and mental and emotional being like, because obviously it's all one big bubble and they all impact each other. It's right. not a restrictive diet. It's not a live in the gym program or anything like that. I like to include all foods because I think food is there to be enjoyed. I'm with them. Yeah, that's why we connect so well. Yes. And I think like when we go through there's so many diets out there. There's so many yo-yo diets out there. There's so much amazing information, but there's also the, the bad information seems to just creep through because they have these false promises, some of them, and lose 10 results. pounds in 10 Every, days. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants those quick results, but they're not like yeah. No, no. You, and it, 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 yeah. You give them life-changing results. I have seen this time yeah. and time again. Colleen is amazing at really helping people fix their underlying issues so that the mm. result is fat loss and not the goal. Like yeah. you know, really yeah. help people find their health. And this is what attracts mm. me so much to what you're doing. I watch you take people that are unhealthy and help bring them into health. So mm. the goal, maybe their goal is to lose weight, but your goal is always seems to be helping them on the whole, fixing yeah. the mind body and the underlying issues. So yeah. having that medical background, I'm sure is just golden for these clients of yours. Yeah. You really understand how the body works. And mm. no disrespect to any other coach. That's just, I just think that's a really unique, special set of skills that you have. And I Thank love you. To yes. your clients just get healthier and healthier. It's really fascinating. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. And look at to, for clients to trust me because there's so many more than yourself you're an incredible coach and what you do Christine it's unbelievable and that's why we connect and we the same mindset when it comes to overall wellness and yes the, the reward is weight loss but the other implementation positive implications to it is just changing your life yes. and I value that so when I was nursing in the wards I always am a nurse um I have so much experience on the wards and in the hospital settings but when I'd be looking at patients going that was preventable. I, that could have been prevented. That could have been prevented. You shouldn't be here. This could have been, impl changes could have been implemented um, earlier stages for them not to reach this stage. 
so for me, it's what can we do or what could I do and bring this into a community base and then obviously on an online base so I can impact more people. I like to see the amazing. Yeah. 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 That was my drive, actually, because I think, as we know, there's an awful lot of diseases out there. Obesity is an epidemic. And yeah. Younger. So I always yeah. feel like if we can teach the parents, the grandparents, the good habits, then it just flows naturally down to the kids. And you don't end up in yeah. a situation like I had where my parents mm. had weight problems and they immediately made me feel like I needed to restrict my every bite and it really yeah. affected my relationship with food. So if we yeah. can, the parents and grandparents understand that mm. food is not the enemy, but we can fuel yeah. our bodies well and still enjoy some treats once in a while. I think it's a much better scenario than ending up in the hospital and being like, okay, now I need these 5,000 drugs <laughs> to fix everything. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. I think the word incredible. Is yeah. I think the word totally is agree. Important. So important. yeah. But and it's it's having more coaches out there like yourself as well, Christine, who are we're preaching the same thing, but unfortunately, it mightn't be shiny like the quick fix of ten pounds or that, fourteen that's pounds that's in a very it's a hard sell because it's a slow it process and everybody yes. wants the quick fix. But I do recognize that you have different levels of your program, so maybe you could tell people what you have: shorter programs, longer programs. Yeah. So what if somebody's struggling? Let's say they're been to the doctor. They're pre-diabetic and they're like, yeah. oh my gosh, what do I do? What's the yeah. first step you would send them? So you would say, I have, do they do a four week program? Do they do a longer program? What? Yeah. What help? So basically I have a 12 week transformation program. Now 12 weeks is, I guarantee anybody losing up to 14 pounds in that 12 weeks. If we're talking weight loss here, or fat loss, let's say. Yes, they lose up to that. It depends on, let's say they're in a situation where I like to, to, when somebody comes to me and they're looking for information and guidance and support, and I look at them and I go, I need to know, number one, can I work with them? Number two, are they ready to take action? And the only way I feel that we can break that down for them is to do an actual triage assessment with them. Right. So that's looking at them and saying, are you in a resource position here? Are you in emergency? Are you urgent or less urgent? Yes. Based yeah. on what they're going through. I'm not diagnosing them really, but they're diagnosing themselves. So if I'm I, I, the way I say to somebody who comes, let's say it was you, Christine, and your doctor has said, look, at, you're on the medication. You're not helping the medication because your diet is, is not great. Right. You're depending on the medication to try and get you out of this. Your movement, your mobility, your flexibility is really poor. You're not literally, the medication isn't going to help. You're on the road to a heart attack. You're now in that high risk resource. So I'm like, I'm holding the pads here with the solution, which is the 12 week program plus some pending on how you get away. So it's up to the person right. to grab the pad. I was going to say, and they say, have Come to on. Be you have to be all in because it's not rapid results. People think it's not working, but yeah. what you need to understand is there's a lot of inside that's working. And so it takes yeah. a while for the outside to change. And so yeah. if we can get our mindset right, where we're knowing that the result is coming, if we're consistent, that's where the magic happens. Oh God. Yeah. And I'm going to go off the reservation here for a second, because mm. I just want to say, that I love your Brooklyn, New York t sweatshirt. Yes, that's why I wore it. <laughs> I was like, what is your shirt? I was thinking, yeah, I was like, yes, that's perfect. <laughs> yes. Got the United um, States kind of braid. I like it. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Well, but I, yeah, that's the, the process. I love that it. They go and, through. I, and I've watched yeah. you do some great stuff for the holidays, getting people ready for the yeah. holidays. Because yeah. for whatever reason, the holidays seem to get everybody off track. People yeah. get so enthused about all these parties and they're just packing on the mm. pounds. And then they're like, oh my gosh, January mm. 1st, I'm going to get it all off. And then everybody yeah. has a major freak out and they go total restriction January 1st. And it lasts yeah. two weeks. The gyms are packed. People go crazy. And then everybody comes yeah. to the cliff again. Yeah. I think that getting people prepared before the holidays is the way to go. And don't wait, people. If you need help, reach out now because now is a good time to do it. Everyone's, yeah. I, I know for myself, I'm, I have a whole group going through what I call my dare. And they're like, yeah. oh, wait a minute, Thanksgiving is going to be then. I'm like, perfect. 
because guess what? You can do it during Thanksgiving. Without yeah. Thanksgiving. You don't have to worry because it's yeah. real life. We're talking a yeah. lifetime of change. It's not we're changing today and tomorrow comes an event and we give it all up. This is yeah. awesome, right. This is yeah, absolutely. And it's so true. There's going to be maybe for some people, 40 more Christmases, 40 more Easter's, yes. 50, 60. Are you going to like how many more weddings, christenings, summer holidays, black yeah. dresses, uh, bikinis, Thanksgiving as, as he celebrated and Christmas itself? Are you going to keep using these as an excuse not to start? Right. And I, I am one of them coaches as well who would I call it my love punch. <laughs> because I am coming from my heart yes, <laughs> when I say us. I'm very much the time will come that you won't have the choice that your body then will take that choice away from you and that's when it it saddens me that I see people in a hospital bed or literally panicking like oh my god how am I going to do this and going down medication route to try and injections we all know the one that I'm talking about yes. to try and get this fast result which is booming at the minute which scares me it's another podcast I see oh, um, online all the time because I so had commented on something and then it was like yeah. the floodgate open and I got so many messages. Yeah. But that's, again, we're talking quick fix versus long time. Mm. But what I'm amazed at, and I'm no disrespect to people that want to go that route. Okay. Mm. I get it. But mm. it's a lifetime commitment of shots. There's, it's not, mm. it's ongoing. Like I thought mm. the beginning when I read about it, I thought it was, Okay, once the weight comes down, they get off of it. But that is not mm. my understanding of it. Now. And for diabetics. Right. So the findings that they found obviously was that the weight loss came off. Yes. But then are you addressing the, the weight or are you, yeah, yeah like where's so, the underlying yeah. issue? Where's the therapy? If you're, if you're actually changing your lifestyle and you're using the medication to manage things, I get it. Mm. But if you are just using that as a crutch and you really are not changing your underlying causes, it's really not helping you in the long term. Yeah. So. yeah. And like that's, that was one of the reasons I'm currently doing a 28 day cleanse. I ran one in October and November. Yes. I remember and for, yeah. yeah. And for the last three years I have, and it's always around just before summer, just before Christmas, as you were saying, the panic on people wanting to be slim because everybody's meeting everybody, maybe haven't seen them in a year and they want to look well. And I totally get that. But all year, I am I always want to be transparent and honest. I'm not for cleanses. I really am. not But I am for not the ones that are for 10 days or five days or maybe six weeks or 10 weeks of a cleanse. The reason being is I, I'm for a cleanse that you learn something. So there's nothing wrong of giving your body a break. 100%. Our liver does a lot of the cleansing, all of the cleansing for us. Right. It's a natural detoxifying. But... When I look at things like people going into this, invest in time, invest in money, and let's say they're doing a 14-day cleanse. They come to day 14, they've cut out carbs, they've cut out drinking sweets, chocolate cakes, biscuits, bread, pastas, all of your naughty foods, if you want to call it. They're pounding the roads, they're living in the gym, and they're eating maybe a high intake of protein, and then they're just a small meal. And then they're coming to day 14 and they're like, oh, my God, I feel amazing. I feel really slim. My dress fits me. And then you see all these advertisements of, oh, look at this person and look at this person. And then you wonder people looking at this going, oh, my God, I can do that. Jesus, I'll do it. But I'm like, OK, tell me how you are on day 16. Show me the pictures on day 24. Show me the pictures as you're heading into Christmas and tell me. Is this weight loss forever or fat loss? Because it's not weight loss we want, it's fat. It's the excess yeah. inches on our body yeah. that's making us pull the jumpers, pull at the tops, making us feel a bit like, ugh, what? the sluggishness, the bloating, the energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how are you now once you've introduced all of them again? Right. So I've been preaching this all the time. Well, I say preaching, I've been sharing my thing Educate. around lenses. Educating all the time. Educating, <laughs> yes. And then I thought, is it, is it changing? Is is people getting it? And then I went, you know what, Colleen, run a healthy one. So yeah. I'm doing one for 28 days. And the success rate was incredible because the first week, what we concentrate on was restricting on the food that could be caffeine. It could be a type of bread. It could be takeaways. <laughs> <laughs> now, I love my coffee, too. But if you're a person who like some people I work with was they're having about 15 cups a day. 
Right. So for them, it's, and if you're throwing in heart disease in there as well and diabetes, that's not working well. And the goal of weight loss or fat loss is not going to help either. So that's a cleanse for them. So it, but for somebody else, they might be only having one coffee. So them to give up coffee is not really no, a big thing for yes. them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's so funny, the first week. Sorry. Yeah. Just tell a quick story. No, you're okay. When, before I, when I owned the bakery, I mm. literally drank two two liter bottles of diet coke a day i drank no water i think how did i live like really how did i live so you are doing getting people away from all that and i'm joking because this is mostly water with a little green yeah but i I love it (laughs) yeah like i love and and like the thing is like what i say to people when they start in the first week is Get off the one thing, whether it's alcohol, but it is the sweets or the chocolate or whatever, if you're having takeaways every night. Do it for seven days to help the body, the digestive system. It's tough. (laughs) Some people do it seven days, 10 days. And then after that, I'm like pulling back on them. I'm like, no, that's enough now. Now we need need to let our bodies tell us how it reacts when we start to gradually re-enter that food into our diet. And we do it within the program so that they learn. So let's say, for instance, one lady, she loved bananas. And I said, do you want to cut out bananas for the first week? I'm all for fruit, 100%. Love it. Eat as much as you can for it. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And she's like, oh, God, no, because I have it in the morning. I have it in the evening. I don't know. And I said, just give it a go. And she was on medication for heartburn. And she cut it out. She had no more heartburn. Yeah. And she realized, hold on a second. I'm taking a certain gastro tablet. To help me with heartburn, I'm spending this much a month. I've just cut out bananas because now I realize it was that was causing me it. How interesting. Problem solved. Crazy. Diet. It's unbelievable how if we just actually connect with our bodies and start to listen to it, our bodies are telling us all the time what it needs. Except we don't give it the time. We're so distracted because we think it's the bread, the sweets, the chocolate. Well, they probably I, impact I, it, but it could be something as simple as something healthy, like a banana. I could have right. done that to them. But you know what? If you spend yeah. any time on the internet, you're bombarded with information, bombarded mm. with the cycles of what's popular, what people are saying, what, and there's just so much information that yeah. if you don't know what you're doing and you're looking for answers, you could go every which direction. Try this, try that. That's exactly yeah. what I did years ago. It Same was here. Like I'm like, I try this for a little while. That didn't work. I could try this. Susie had good results with that i'll try that and mm. that lack of knowledge that leads people all these different roads and that's why i say invest in a good coach because yeah and this is why i have so many coaches on it's not everybody that i have on is super qualified and i really admire them but you have to mm. connect with your coach you're giving you them personal information and yeah. you're sharing with them your life so you have yeah. to connect with that person mm. and i love your style i love your heart-centered approach and really just that you you baby step people through it so you don't bombard them with all this information no. and cut out no. everything for the, the rest of your life because let's face it nobody has that much self-control <laughs> well, exactly. self-control. Well, no and not even coaches I'm sorry but there's a majority out of them don't it's have it either true. I always say the most unhealthy people are the fitness industry people because there's so much about restriction you look at at bodybuilders and I have tremendous respect for them because what they do mm, is not easy. Yeah, it's yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, sport, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're healthy. Their body looks no. a certain way for short periods of time because they force it to. So yeah, you can look online and, and they have a coach yeah. <laughs> who's so there literally. And yeah. helping them, we can look online and think, "Oh my gosh, I don't look like that," and that gets yeah. in our head, and we start playing that unhealthy comparison game versus really thinking about our overall health. And I love mm. to focus on the overall health. And yeah, and food is meant to be enjoyed, Christy. Yes, even though I always Jesus. call it fuel because we can get off track. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. I owning a bakery, with, I was eating, yeah. but I wasn't eating anything that was healthy. And so now yeah. I'm an active person. I need to fuel my body. And I find that women in a certain age bracket, and you work with men. And women, women. yeah. I do find that. No disrespect to women, but I do find men follow the plan a little better. Yeah, better yeah. The results because their bodies, you know, they change and adapt quicker. But yeah. The thing is that I think that I lost my train of thought a little bit there, but anyhow, <laughs> that yeah, we overall about fueling the body. Yeah, we we and with food. Yeah, yeah. Women have trouble eating protein. 
I have seen yeah. it time and time again where we, I'll start to work with ladies and I say, okay, how are you doing a protein? I have some. And they'll tell me yeah. their day and it's a, a minuscule amount. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, oh, we need to start there. We need to start with Yeah, so yeah. I started writing recipe books because people need yeah. ideas. You get stuck in a rut and you need to Absolutely. expand your horizons a little. So like yeah. she said she had a banana because she always had a banana. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now that, let's try something different. Not yeah. take it away, but try a different way. And that yeah. is very golden. And yeah, so Colleen and I connected when we were with Boss Coaches because I saw that she was doing these whole food supplements and I am all about yeah. whole foods. Like I really, I used to live on a lot of packaged goods and I think that's where I had so yeah. many gut issues. And once I started having more whole foods, my whole body changed. My, yeah. my digestive system changed. I no longer had that bloated feeling. And so we connected over these whole food supplements yeah. and both of us carry them and recommend them to the people that we work with because- it yeah. is a game changer. You, it is. You can like I'm a veggie person. I have a half a plate of vegetables almost every single meal. I am I yeah. love vegetables. But I cannot yeah. eat six to ten cups of vegetables a day. That's just not yeah. it's, really, it's not possible. And if I try yeah. that much, I would like I would eat nothing else. So yeah. Having a vegetable supplement is and I'm not a green juice person. I like smoothies, but I'm not like a yeah. green juice person. So yeah. I actually, I actually take the kids version, the chewy ones because I hate swallowing pills, but yeah, it's really been fantastic for overall yeah. health. I take a fruit and a veggie, and then I take some of the other supplements that really just help just yeah, additional fuel, I guess is what I would say. And I know they're a game changer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a game changer. Yeah. And when it comes to getting, they're not a vitamin. They're, everybody's oh, it's just another vitamin. And I'll always say to people, they're not like, they're not a vitamin, they're a supplement. They are a whole food product. They are plant-based. You get your fruits, your veg, your berries, your omegas, you have your protein powders there as well. You have an uplift, a natural plant-based equivalent, let's say to, let's say a, a Barocco or something like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is natural. And there's a bit of caffeine in it as well. You just have one of them a day. They're absolutely incredible. It's all plant, plant based. Caffeine is an everything. But the fruit, the veg, and the berries, the omegas are world class. Every woman, if you're perimenopausal, menopausal, if you've got PCOS, if you've got bad period cramps, if, just hormone issues in general, yes. you need to be on these omegas. They're just a game changer. Like, they really are. It, like, I'm working with women. Men are a bit harder for them to take them, to convince them. But for the women, like the Amigas have reached the American Journal of Cardiology. Yes. First one ever. That's a game changer when it comes to these. Why are they different? Yeah. yeah. There's three. You're probably all familiar with 369. Everybody's on taking my healthy fats. It's just 369. Juice plus are plant-based. So they went, hold on a second. We're going to dodge the fish. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go direct to the plant, the algae. So there's three, five, six, seven, nine. Places like Blue Boots, I don't know if you have Boots over there, but Boots is like a huge franchise, a pharmacy. And then you have another health food shop called Holland and Barrett. And they wanted to buy the product. Yeah, which I'm assuming is fairly similar. Yeah. And they wanted to buy the product directly off Juice Plus. And Juice Plus, obviously, it's a golden opportunity for them. But they said no, because they want the correct products going for what the people or person is suffering. From. So whether it's lack of energy, skin, hair, nails, all of that common stuff that we all want to improve. But if you've got issues like everybody says, oh, sure, have your five a day. Not everybody can take and digest right. fiber. They're not able to take all fruit. And a lot of people can't take what the five a day is. So they're going around with no intake yes. of their <laughs> fruit and veg and berries. I, mean, I have, I have so, clients I worked with that are like, I, I cannot eat vegetables. I'm like, what yeah. do you mean you can't eat vegetables? Yeah. Like, I yeah. have, I just, I don't like them. I have trauma from being forced as a kid to eat them. I can't get past that. So that having a supplement, a whole food supplement for oh, yeah. vegetables was the only vegetables that they were getting. And it's it not their unbelievable to go to the bathroom. They were able to go back yeah. and like, you know, yeah. don't mind. My me. people I'm like you. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm the same. <laughs> um, to have that option and also there's people who are IBS, Crohn's disease. I have type 2 diabetics, type 1 diabetics on these. Mm -hmm. And you know how monitored the food needs to be. 
The protein powder is low GI, meaning it just takes longer to digest, which in turn is low in sugar. It's dairy free. It's got like your 19.5 grams of protein. It's plant based. It's incredible. It's you know, I did not there even, is a, I did not even realize yeah. it's plant based originally because yeah. I've always been a whey protein gal because I never liked plant based because it always tastes grainy yeah. to me. And yeah. I don't always make traditional shakes. I make it in yeah. cookie dough. So I add just a tiny bit of um, almond milk to it, unsweetened almond milk. Oh, and I mix yeah. it like a drop at a time until it's like cookie dough. And then yeah. I add in some toasted nuts and I just. Oh, I need to try that. It's really fantastic. Like I like it so much better than a shake. So yeah, I didn't. I didn't even pay attention to the packaging and didn't realize it was plant-based when I first bought it. Yeah. And I'm eating yeah. my cookie dough and eat my cookie dough. And then you mentioned that it was plant-based and I'm like, Oh, I hate plant-based. Wait a minute. And so I didn't even recognize it. I was using the chocolate. Yeah. Didn't make any difference. Yeah. Right now. And for years, the taste is gorgeous. What's that? The taste, the taste is gorgeous. Oh, it's really good. Cause it's not grainy. I'm a really yeah. good person. I'm like, I have a really good palate. So it yeah. just, tasting. I was like, you'd really do. It's great. It's, it's fabulous. And again, you can order directly off Christine there as well. And yeah, I'll drop what I love is, notes. yeah, I think to have somebody, there's, a, there's so many options, again, being thrown at people of what they can have and what they shouldn't be having. And when you look at this and what I love because of my nursing background and obviously I'm sure with you as well, Christine, just the, the amount of information, the they have 52 clinical studies, they have over 48 or 49 uh, peer review studies. This isn't just a willy nilly supplement that's just thrown right. there and saying, have this. But the, the fruit and the veg and the berries, they're not plucked or picked from the ground unless they're at their highest nutritional value. And then once they are, within four hours, they're shipped, they're broken down into a powder form, put into the capsule, and then the moisture is taken out of them as well. So you're left with just the fruit, the veg, the berries, which I love. There's nothing pumped into them to hold them, bind them together. It's just, if a child went in and said, if you had a bowl of berries there, blueberries, and then you come in and the blueberries all over the face, That's my you'd be like, oh my God, isn't that great? <laughs> They're eating the fruit and veg. You wouldn't panic. Where it's the same with these. The only difference is they might get a pain in the tummy for eating so much berries like anybody. But like pregnant people can take these. Post pregnancy, there's no like label to say, please consult your yes, GP. There's nothing dangerous. That's what I love it. There's that's nothing. It. That's you're getting what you need without having to bulk up. And so yeah. I honestly think they're fantastic. And I was saying the other day, I was talking to my friend Kelly on the podcast about CBD. And yeah, you know, yeah. I, there are two things, only two things that I recommend to, to people I work with. And that is Juice Plus for extra boost. And CBD yeah. for women's health. So yeah. um, they have an intimate product that's great. And, and so there's not really much I recommend, but those yeah. are, are essential for health. So yeah, the, I love that. I love it. And it's so lovely to have that background mm -hmm. as well, to be able to recommend it. And people are like, oh, you're selling it. And obviously we're getting commission about it. To be honest with you, but it's not a sale. I was referring. It's, yeah. It's something yeah. I believe in. Yeah. Like whether if you can give that back. Yeah, whether they went yeah. to somebody else and got it or me, again, I don't care. But I do yeah. still recommend it. Like, even, yeah. if, even if the guy got nothing out of it. Because, honestly, I care more about the person's health than I care about the money. And if I find It would be wrong not to talk about it. It would be wrong not to talk about it. I couldn't imagine just hiding it and just be like, oh, my God, I'm not going to share that with anybody. I'm feeling on. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're interested, obviously, go to Christine. No problem yeah, at all. Well, I'll put, your um, links down, I'll put your links down there too. So if any of you are interested in working with a coach who's super high class and super heart centered and just knows her stuff, Colleen is your gal. And, and thank you. you know, I, I've interviewed a lot of, of coaches and I, I bring them on because I think each one brings a unique skill set. And Colleen just really is super, super knowledgeable, but just a, a really awesome lady to work with. And she works with men and women and all different yeah. ages and all different situations. Usually if, correct me if I'm wrong, usually people that have underlying issues. And so I'm going to drop her information underneath the Brilliant. show notes so that you all can get in contact with her. She has a free Facebook group, which is really hopping. Like people are really good in yeah. there. And yeah. also I want to say, what is the name of your Facebook group? 
it's rye strong oh sorry so rye strong with kali okay perfect so we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll link it down below i'll, I'll link it there yeah yeah thank you and then also you have a yeah. podcast as well where can people find your podcast i do, I do. yes i actually I totally I'm terrible. I don't advertise it enough. And it's not because I don't want to. I just there's so many stuff that I'm like, yeah, oh my God, I, I have to tell people about worry. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's Carl and Chris Let's Talk podcast. And Chris is a physical therapist and also in the Juice Plus business as well. And what we wanted to do, no more than yourself, Christine, is debunk all of the crap that's out there for people and bring knowledge, Love understanding that. around diet, around food. And also have the crack as well. We have like different kind of chats and stuff and we have guests coming in as well. And we do an amazing guy called Dr. Greg Tollefson. He's a chiropractor on another level. He was just incredible. And again, we want to get you on as well, Christine, when you're free. Yes. We'll have 100%. A, we'll have a good food. A chin yes. wag together. Exactly. And look, it's, it's you can find it on Spotify. I think we've, I think this is around 12 episodes, 13 episodes up there. I have another one to launch actually to put up this weekend. So yeah, check us out. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's a mixture. It's a mixture for both men and women and just looking at health in a new way, a healthier way. And then, as we said, food is fuel. It's there to be enjoyed, not to be abused. And normally it's our emotional relationship with food that kind of puts the labeling of good food and bad food into the arena of which isn't good for anybody. We're entitled to have our treats. We're entitled to enjoy our life, but not to blame food, to blame nutrition. And at the end of the day, we have a life to live. And if you're looking to lose weight, if you're, whether it's with me or Christine or whatever, please sit back. And one tip I'd say is, if you're waving, if you feel that like you can't live this program or this diet or whatever your fatty diet that you've decided to do or cleanse, if you don't see you doing this for the rest of your life and saying, can I give up alcohol? Can I give up sweets? Can I give up all carbs? Can I, uh, I hate going to the gym, but I have to live in the gym. Can you do that for the rest of your life? If you can't, then that's your red flag. You need to sit back and go, can I, do I need to invest my time here and financial investment? Right. Or am I wasting this? Because time is valuable and so is your money. But yeah. at the end of the day, if you get your health fixed, Make sure you're investing both of them in the proper coach, whether it's us two or someone else. No, I 100% agree with you because yeah. if you're not committed to the process or the process is too rigid, then you're not going to follow through and you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. You may yeah. get them temporarily, but we're looking for lifetime changing oh, results. Yeah. And so yeah. both of us are committed to helping people in different ways. You do it through yeah. coaching and I'm doing it through food education and really getting yeah. out there and, and giving people options and teaching them how to cook and teaching them how to bake from scratch. Because I think we really yeah. need to get back to an old school way of doing things. Yeah. My grandparents, my grandparents lived to, my grandfather was 103. And my grandmother was in her 90s. And they wow they a lot of their own food. They didn't use commercial no. food. So there's something to be said to getting back to the table and eating real food. So that mm. is my message. I love that. Back I back love to, it. You know, Food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's a place for treats, and I always say if you're doing 80 percent whole foods, you got that 20 percent wiggle room that doesn't have to be particularly nutritious, but you need those treats to have real life and harmony in your life. Speaking, yeah, and speaking of grandparents, and I say this to my clients, like I remember Pop, I called my granddad so Poppy, and he'd get up in the morning, and Granny would be there as well, and he'd have his egg and his all bran in his cup with a bit of milk which would be cow's milk because they had land and cows and chicken and the whole lot and then he'd go out in the land then and then come he'd be out in the land about seven o'clock and come 10 or 11 he'll come in then and he'll have a cup of tea and a slice of homemade brown bread a bit of butter and marmalade so the butter was homemade bread was homemade granny was a great baker i remember just walking into gran's house and just whoa the scent was so beautiful of food being cooked and so homely and safe and then he'd come in, he'd go back out of the, the land again. Dinner was at one, your meat, your veg, your sp- and your, your spud. A good bit of protein there. Too, right? Basically, he was out right. in the land. And then he'd come back in again. He'd have his custard and his rhubarb, custard homemade, rhubarb plucked from the, the ground after the dinner. He'd come in then at three o'clock, he'd have a slice of treacle cake and his cup of tea, and then go out again. 
And then the evening time then was a rasher or a sausage or the pan would be going on top of the range. And we'd be there going, oh, my God. And Pop was so amazing. He'd build like this little volcano and he'd have the butter coming and we'd be looking. We call it, what do we call it over here? There'd be scallions through it. So he'd have the scallions and he'd be there helping us. And, and we used to love, love the potatoes. <laughs> Poor old grand Pop had nothing left on his plate. But their food was so natural. Yes. It was just, there wasn't large portions. It might sound like a lot of food, but it, they were all small they portions. Were, they were eating, fueling, going, working. Eating, fueling, go working. Mm. And so Amazing. they had that cycle of working it off and eating and fueling their body with healthy things. So my grandfather, I asked him one time, what's the secret of how long you've lived? And he said, a martini yeah. a day. And when he was oh. in his 90s, his doctor said, you need to stop eating butter because it's bad for your cholesterol. It's bad for your health. And he said, I don't care. I'm in my 90s. I'm trying to get to heaven. Yeah. I'm trying to go. Yeah. 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 Oh. But yes. that, was, that was back in the day when they're like, you should eat margarine. And so we go through all these trends. It gets confusing for people. So my yeah. whole point in saying this is, if we can get back to real food and we can get back to, you know, kind of a healthy rhythm of life where we're not completely stressed out, where we're actually eating real food, where we're enjoying our life. Wow. It just makes such a difference. It made such yeah, a difference in yeah. my own life. It makes it same here in your, yeah, life. massively. So yeah. my friends contact Colleen, if you're needing help, contact Colleen. I'll put all of her information down below. If you do nothing else, follow her on social media because she gives out lots Thank of free advice too. And yes. I am so happy to connect with you again. I have missed you. Oh, and I've missed you too. Yeah. I have been listening to your podcast and I've been listening to your online stuff, but it's always great to connect because yeah. just, she's, you're fabulous. And I'm due a trip over as well. So I am. I shall be gracing Come you, I'm sure, you. with your presence. Yes. I'd love it next year. I'll make you bake sourdough bread with me on the farm. I wonder, can I actually bring that home? <laughs> it's funny. Delivery. I've traveled with it, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wow. but, I, but I can't imagine that we can't bring bread back, right? Just tuck it in yeah. your clothes. And oh, I'd it? love it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember even during COVID, there was a, a bakery down in Cork and sourdough was obviously huge. And they used to just deliver it. So yeah. I'd love it. I'd have a suitcase full of your stuff. <laughs> <if I could. laughs> and I can't wait for your book to come out. Can't wait. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been doing like little online snippet classes to help people get their starters started and stuff. Because yeah, they're just wow. so passionate about it. I just love it. Yeah. But yeah. I want to thank you so much for being here thank and thank you for blessing us with your knowledge. And we will thank connect you. again soon. You'll have to come back on. Yeah. And uh, maybe 100%. we'll have Chris on And you and mine. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Can't yeah. wait. Well, and well, thanks for getting up so early as well. No problem. I'm always yeah. up there. So I was telling you, it's 10 o'clock in Ireland. It's 5 a.m. here. And the good news and is... guess what? The sun is out. The sun is out in Ireland. I'm still in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. coming. It's coming. But yeah. yeah. Thank you, Hon. Thank you so much. I just love you. And I'm so glad to connect. I and love you too. Want, my, my listeners, if you have loved this episode, please subscribe. Please give us a, a, a star rating on Apple Podcasts. Yeah. And if you could leave us a review, we would absolutely so appreciate love it. it. That helps yeah. send out the world message. All right, my yeah. friends. I we will thank you so much. Time. Love to have a great day. Mm. Talk to you. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.